chat GBT, can you script a um a area where part instances act as grass and as a player walks through the area the grass acts as if it's being cut down and then when the player leaves the part of the area the grass comes back up part instances act as grass and appear to be cut down as a player character walks through the area here's one way you could approach this create a part model that represents the grass you can do this by creating a simple cylinder or cube shape and applying a grass texture to it create a script that instantiates the grass part model as regular yeah, let's skip all this. ChatGBT making us some code. Create grass. Grass model clone. Grass model game dot server storage grass model. Create grass part every five seconds. Function to change the appearance. Grass part dot position, grass part dot size, one character removing, what? Player removing, one character. Weird. Okay. Um, restore the appearance of grass parts for part in workspace get descendants okay let's uh, copy this um, where do I put this script chat GBT where do I um, it's probably gonna be server script service but where do I put this script Mm, I'm probably just going to put it in server script service. Chat GBT! Alright, so now we need a grass part. Okay. ChatGBT and it wants us to put this in server storage. All right, bet. Let's see what happens. Infinite yield on grass model. All right, get this in this. Wait, what? Grass model, function of grass part in the area. Grass, grass. Leave for child grass model. It's weird because it's naming it grass model, but here it says grass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this grass model 
and then I'm gonna name it um wait yeah all right so hopefully that works chat GBT oh shit scale is not a valid member of part dot workspace dot scale weird what is scale supposed to be chat gbt i got an error that says scale is not a valid member of workspace dot part workspace dot grass It looks like you might be trying to use scale property on an object that is child of workspace, but this property is not available on parts objects. Scale property is only available on model objects, which are a type of instance that contain other instances as children. Okay, so maybe we'll just delete that. So I, I, I'm guessing it wanted, it wanted a part. I mean, it wanted a model. It wanted this to be a model, but it's like, you know, is a part. So it's looks like it's not coding it correctly. Um, I don't. I don't think it's working. Hold on. This is what is happening, okay? We don't even have code to make sure that it's gonna it's gonna be cut as a player walkthrough. ChatGBT, can you add code to make sure that the grass acts like it's being cut when a player is a certain distance. Yes, it is possible to add code to the script to make grass appear to be cut down only when the player character is within a certain distance of the grass parts. Here's one way you could do this. Use, um, use the vector three dot distance function to calculate the distance between the player character and each grass part. Okay. I didn't even know uh, vector three dot distance was a thing. Create grass. Okay. Game dot players dot local player. Okay, update grass appearance. So this is what we need right here. Update grass appearance. All right, so let's copy this. Chat GBT. Oops. Yeah, because this is not a thing, okay? Vector three dot distance, not found in table. Player dot character. Let's put this in our character added. ChatGPT. So we're gonna have to use dot magnitude. So dot magnitude. So character dot human report dot position minus 
part dot position dot magnitude distance equals attempt to index nil with humanoid root part. Player weight for child or not player not character So what I'm doing right now is I'm doing a character added event on character added on character added character just because we didn't need the player I don't think so now let's see what it's doing chat GPT oh shoot what is happening right now? What in the heck is all of this? We don't even need these character removings, so I'm just gonna delete these to get these out of the way. Um, I don't know why it's like changing nonstop though. Task dot wait one. Take dot wait. Take take. Please take. So what the fudge? Yeah, what is happening in our script to make it like that? Now, as you can see, though, these get smaller, so that's good, right? That's what we want. But I am, like, shocked right now on what all that... I don't know what all that is doing. Brick color, dark green, green, if distance, brick color. If distance... If distance is greater than five, no, if distance is wait yeah if distance is less than five while true update grass I want to get rid of this because I don't think we need this okay so let's just get rid of that because I don't I don't think we need that so let's try it again Dude, where is this happening? What, what? This is just so confusing. And then it vanishes. It turns, I am so confused. Part.size. I think it's this in part.name equals grass. I think it's this right here. The descendants. If distance else. I'm not going to change the brick color. Let's see if it's, I think it's this one. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. It has to be. Honestly, I'm so confused right now. Distant for part if character dot humanoid dot position minus part dot position dot magnitude print distance. We're gonna print distance. 
And then um, I'm not going to change. I don't want to change the colors. I just want to change the size. So it is that right there. But why is it? Is it disappearing? OK, OK, OK. OK, OK, OK. So local grass count equals uh, local grass count, OK? For um for grass in pairs workspace get children do if grass is a part and grass dot name equals grass then grass then um then grass count plus equals one so we're gonna do ABC. and then after this we're gonna say if grass count equals 100 then um, connection disconnect Okay, so basically what I just did was I said, if our grass count is equal to 100, stop the, the function of creating multiple grass. Um, so, and it worked. Oh, it's working, dude. It's literally working. Okay, cool as hell. Okay, get this, math.random math.random can you make a script to spawn a part to spawn a part multiple times across a specific part across a specific area so that the parts are aligned like a grid like a grid format <laughs> this is like the worst question i could possibly ask <laughs> yeah i suck at grammar and everything but whatever Yes, it is possible the greatest bird that spawns multiple parts in a grid formation across a specific area. Here's one way we could approach this. I'm not even going to read the bio. Just give me the code, chat. Just give me the code, chat. Just give me the code, chat, GPT. Just give me the code. Uh, this is insane, dude. Oh, part model. Okay. Num rows, new column spacing. For row equals one, this code will create a grid of parts that is 10 by 10, which is spaced five meters apart. Okay. That's literally all we needed, part model. Part model clone row position. X. Ooh, I see what it's doing. Okay, awesome, dude. That's lit as hell. That's actually lit. So we're going to copy this. Actually, yeah, we're going to copy this. And we're going to go over here. And we are going to just... Um, 
you know what, I'm just gonna, boom. All right, so now this is our new code. So we're gonna change this to grass model. We'll just keep this part model. And then, Uh, create grass. This is actually going to replace cut. This is going to replace our create grass function. And then we're just going to do something dumb. So we're going to be like local created grass equals false. Uh, if created grass, if created, if created grass, then turn else create grass. Um, then turn else create grass connection disconnect. This is all bad practice, guys. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to um, get this to work real quick with our new stuff. Um, I'm going to say number of rows is actually like 25. Number of columns, 25. Okay. And then part dot name equals grass. So this should work. Oops, 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 oops. Okay. This should work. Let's see what happens. Sheesh. All right, bet. So why it's lagging, and as you can see, it's working. So it's simulating like the grass. Um spacing. What's the size of our parts? Like, aren't they one, one, one? So I'm just gonna put one. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, this is still um running. So what we really could do is just uh run create grass. Um, our function create grass and we can get rid of this created grass uh, debounce um, why it's still lagging let me see oh it's our hold on a second it's our while loop I guess our while loop is like having a heyday right now update the appearance so what we really could do is, hold on. Mm. We're constantly changing the part. We're constantly changing these part size. So, um, yeah. That's why it's doing that. So this is just like a really bad way to do what we want to do. And there's probably a better way um, to do it without causing so much lag. But as you can see, like it's working though. It's just, it's just um, acting super crazy. But it's like going, the grass is basically being like kind of down, like it's going down in size, you know, while we're running and stuff and so like let's look at I don't know what we can do to make it not um like I can't think of it at the top of my head I'm pretty burnt out but um let me just like think for like two seconds I ding I don't have it um yeah so I think what we can do for this to make it not lag is we will have to
Ah, dude, I don't know. I'm like really like confused right now. If distance, then size. Like it's changing the size constantly. So I'm I'm thinking we can just like um so what we could do is basically say if the distance is less than five we can change the part back and if the distance is greater than five so if part dot size equals vector three i don't know if this is even going to work i've never tried to do this one 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 then continue else we're going to do this all right so that's basically what we're doing is we're not going to change the size if it's already that size all right that's what we're not going to do because we're i think we're changing we're trying to change the size constantly for all these pieces and see yeah there it goes as you can see that worked so that's exactly what it was doing. It was basically change. It was it was still running the code, changing the size for all of these parts. It didn't need to constantly, right? Because these parts are already at that size, and so it's just going in and changing it, changing it for all of these parts. So it's doing way too much, um, and it just it didn't need to do that. So yeah, dude, that's freaking cool as heck. Um, and then ideally, we would put these in an actual grid. I don't know why they're all curved. That doesn't make any sense to me. Spacing, column, spacing. What's the exact size? What is what is the exact size the parts have to be to be touching each other perfectly? Size of the parts you want to touch each other perfectly will depend on the spacing between the parts. If you want the parts to touch each other without any gap, you can set their size to be equal to the spacing between them, minus a small value to account. Vector three, okay. 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 So here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna say boom, and we're gonna say boom. That's our default size now. And I believe it's the Y, ooh, I don't remember. I think it's the Y. So what we're gonna do here is 0.4.9, 4.9, and then, yeah, I guess 0.5, whatever. Let's, fingers crossed, baby. Oh, that did not do what I wanted to do. What? What is this? Expected. Okay, yeah. Cool. All right, let's go. Let's see if it works. What in the world? Oh, right. I have to do this. Spacing is five. Okay. Yo. Wait. It's not going back though. Why is it being flattened? What is this? Create grass. Oh, okay. Position X. Zero. Size. Um, part dot size equals vector three dot new four point nine four point nine four. All right, 
rule. If then continue else goes back there. So this should work now, but um little confused. Ooh, that's lit. So the problem is is that it's not like it's not going back up, which is weird. I don't know why it's not doing that. Like it's just being cut down. It's not it's not going it's not changing it back to what we want. Like let's let's like click on one of these grass parts. Position, size. Okay, let's get one of the ones that are. Come on, bro. Oh my God, this is gonna take forever. Okay. Um. Yeah, zero point five. I don't know why it's not going back up. Let's look at the uh, code real quick. If distance is less than five, then yeah, print. Let's go ahead and print distance again. Else, if part dot size is is already equal to four point nine, four point nine, then continue. Else, go. Uh, we're gonna change it back. Print successfully change back. Um, all right, let's try this. Because this should be working. Okay, let me humanoid dot root part part dot position dot magnitude else print supposed to be changing. Successfully changed back. It, it 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 apparently it worked, but it it didn't work because we we just saw that there was no part like that, and now we're successfully supposed to be changing back. Successfully changed back. What? What is happening? Oh my god. Bruh, I am just the biggest idiot. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, it should work now. Holy crap, dude. But yeah, now we have lag again, so that's crazy. So yeah. Well, we simulated it. We did we did what we came here to do, so um that's what that's what matters. Um, and then to fix this lag, we would probably remove some of these prints. Um, I don't know really why it was lagging. If distance is less than 10, let's do that. Because they're bigger parts now. So. Like as you can see, we were running on top of them and nothing was happening. Like there we go. Still don't know why it's lagging all of a sudden. I'll have to fix that later. Yeah, cool though, dude. Uh thanks, chat GPT. 